Hey everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica and today I will be making just a simple flip cup with some of my favorite colors. I just wanted to thank you for your very beautiful and positive feedback in my previous video. You are amazing. I am very grateful that I have got so many amazing people who are watching my videos. I am very grateful. Thank you so much. And as you can see, I've got this old pour which I don't like anymore. So I will be pouring all over it. And I prepared some baby blue, baby blue color. This one is Dalo blue. And this one is purple mixed a little bit with yellow blue and my white. I made my usual mixture. I mix one part of acrylic color and the other part of pouring medium. And I make my own pouring medium from PVA glue and water. I use 60% of PVA glue or Elmer's, Elmer's glue. PVA glue which my children use in kindergarten and 40% of water tub of water I mix this together and it creates my pouring medium and the only reason why I'm using my own pouring medium is that I can't buy Liquitex or or Floetrol in my country that's the only reason if I could buy that I would use but my PVA pouring medium works very well so and I also put two drops of silicone oil in each color let's put them one two one two one two one two so that's two drops in each color and I hope it will create some interesting background for my art and yeah, because I don't like this anymore this was a failure to me I don't like that so let's pour my white on the bottom and then I'm gonna put a little bit of this yellow blue, a little bit of my violet and then also a little bit of my baby blue color. No more white. Here we go, more white, let's cover it all and then I will repeat the pattern again. So that's my yellow blue, all of it, don't waste anything. Then my purple or violet and these colors should get a little bit lighter because they are they they will be mixed with white. And then this is my baby blue. I like this color, color of my walls. Well, my walls are a little bit darker, but okay. Here we go, white. Now, time for my flip cup. Here we go, let's pour some white around this cup. I don't like wasting my colors. Let's see. Ooh, lots of blue and baby blue. I hope that purple will show. I'm just gonna pour these around. I love blue color. I think blue is my most favorite color. What is your favorite color? Let me know in the comment if you can. I always love reading all your comments. You are very kind. Let's use my torch. This is a torch, cheap torch, which I bought in Lidl. It works quite well. It just needs refilling with this. So let's try and see. Ooh. Oh, it's a beautiful cells. 
I know I will lose these cells, but I like to use my torch in the beginning because look at that beautiful, beautiful cells. So many cells. So let's move it all around. Ooh, this looks like some kind of water. I can imagine working with this. I like these cells. Ooh, it created some waves. you a few little details because I can imagine working with this a little bit further with some water theme water theme art so I'm gonna let this dry and show you what to do next welcome back everybody my pour is dry after a week and I love that it reminds me of beautiful sea waves and sea foam and I love all these colors. We plan to travel abroad this year but that's not gonna happen so at least I can paint something which will remind me of beautiful sea and beautiful time spent by the sea and fresh breeze and all the beautiful emotions. I will try to embellish it with some 3D effect and I start by putting three lines of masking tape here. I start in the middle like this. I'm not gonna measure it, I just do it by heart. So is this a middle? It looks like this. And now I'm going to use my dual art marker. It's water-based. I bought this in a local art shop. It has got two tips, one like this, the other one like this. I will be using the bigger one for drawing my half circles, which will represent my waves. So I start by drawing half circle here at the bottom like this Now the other one, I start here and make half circle this way. And then I will just continue making these half circles. And at the top I have to guess, so it would go like this.
Now I'm gonna finish these circles like this. You just have to guess where the line goes. Or you can just draw it. Then I will paint another half circle here in this length. Now I'm going to paint the lines around my tape so it looks more interesting. And now here comes the time for shading, so it looks like it's layered on the top of each other. And for that I'll be using only my black acrylic color, tiny bit of water and different brushes for blending my colors to make shades. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my brush in wet, in water and then in a little bit of black acrylic color and I start with shading. I will always shade these edges like this. And then I put my brush in, in water and I gently blend it so it creates nice shade. And when I finish the shading, I will maybe make these lines again so they'll be more visible because my markers were water based, so it takes the lines off but it's okay i need to create these shades and then i can paint them again where i need them
here comes the time to take these tapes off my favorite part of the whole process Ooh, that looks so cool already about this was it inspirational for you please let me know what you think um, if you'd like me to make more videos like this or is it too simple or too boring for you please let me know in the comment below I'd love to hear your feedback well thank you very much for watching this video I will I hope it was inspirational for you I love how how 3d it looks my poor inspired by beautiful waves Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. You can join my Facebook group, create with me and show me your beautiful creations. And see you soon. Bye.